In OS 10.8, Apple introduced a new feature called Fusion Drive. The principle behind the Fusion Drive is it allows you to take a solid state drive and a standard hard disk drive and merge the two together, giving you the performance advantage from the solid state drive while still keeping the capacity of the standard hard drive. It's the OS that does all the hard work here, monitoring files and moving files that are used often onto the solid state drive while keeping large files and files accessed infrequently on the hard disk drive. A lot of the OS is also kept on the solid state drive to aid with boot times. Apple actually only introduced this feature on their new iMacs and Mac Minis. However, it is possible to get any system running OS 10.8 to utilize this feature. Although it's possible to run a Fusion Drive on any system running 10.8, only the Mac Pro has the multiple drive bays required to allow you to use this feature. The first thing you're going to need to do is back up your system. There are a lot of utilities out there. In my case, I use Time Machine. Next, you're going to need the recovery utility from Apple's website. This will allow you to make a bootable USB key which you're going to need to reinstall the system. You can find information on how to make a USB recovery key in another tutorial on Dacry Tech. To build your own Fusion Drive, you're going to need two drives, a solid state drive and a hard disk drive. The solid state drive doesn't need to be huge. It's only going to be used for the files that are accessed the most. But it is a good idea to have the hard disk drive at a good size. I've chosen a 140GB SSD drive and a 1TB hard disk drive. Now remove your existing hard drive and replace it with the SSD drive in bay 1 and your hard disk drive in bay 2. Once this is done you can reboot your system holding down the option key to get the boot options up. Make sure you've got your USB key plugged in at this point because we're going to need to boot from that key. Once the system has finished booting from the USB key, you'll be presented with the OSX utilities and the standard OSX menu bar at the top of the screen. From the menu bar, choose Utilities, then click on Terminal. First, we need to find the identifier for the two disks that we've put in the system. Type DiskUtil space list. By looking at the size of the drive you can quickly identify which disks we are talking about. In my case this is disk 0 and disk 1. Now we're going to create the core storage volume. We need to type diskutil space cs space create space the name of the volume. In my case I'm going to call it Fusion Drive, space, disk 0, space, disk 1. This will create a core storage volume called Fusion Drive using disk 0 and disk 1. On your system, these disk identifiers may be different. After a few moments, this command will finish, giving you the message, finished core storage operation. Now we need to find the UID of this new volume. To do this we type diskutil space cs space list. We're interested in the long 36 digit identifier next to logical volume group. Now type diskutil space cs space create volume space and then enter the UID that we identified in the previous command a space JHFS plus for journaled filing system space then the name of the volume in my case I'm going to call it Macintosh HD space and then the size of the volume in my case, this will be 1.1t.
Now install your operating system as normal and that's it. You're using Fusion Drive.